Hello everybody, and welcome to another indie horror game. Today we are playing The Doctor, Chapter 1. The description says, You assume the role of David Fletcher, a 26-year-old reporter. Shortly after the asylum was closed down, reports were made claiming to have heard screams and to have seen a large figure lurking on the grounds. You are sent to record evidence of these anomalies and report back your findings. Will you make it out alive? So, let's check it out and see if we can survive. The Doctor. I like the little bloody hand as the icon, the mouse icon, that's pretty cool. I think we're locked in this hospital. All right, let's check it out. A lot of papers strewn about. Oh, I hear something. A faint echo. A previous patient, long past. Phone, rotary dial, call for help, no, basement key, excellent, access denied, okay, access denied, this room is open, Again, I hear something. Cough, perhaps? Some medical equipment? Yes, it sounds like I'm not alone in this room, but I don't see anything. I think some of the patients have lingered. That door won't open. Basement key, all right. And we descend into the very dark basement. I think we're locked in, okay. I think my one complaint so far is the cookie on the flashlight is um, the center of it is almost in completely black and it makes it very hard to see a minor minor okay can we open these at all so, oh that looks like an empty body bag Reroute power. I'm not sure what or why we're rerouting it, but we are. Apparently these can't be opened. Probably for the best. If the power is not on, it may be quite pungent in those containers. Oh! We are not alone. He's in a cage. That's a good thing. Wow, look at him. He is a freak. He is a freak. What a beast. Okay, reroute power. I don't know where we're rerouting it to. And I'm glad he's in a cage. He doesn't seem to aggro on us. He's just chilling in his cage. Let's see if we can. Oh! We have some fresh corpses. Some that are already 
placed in body bags. That is indeed an empty body bag. That's probably not a good sign for us. Reroute power. Mm. Okay, that sounds like we definitely did something. These guys better just stay laying down. This is nice. This is good and creepy. I really like the quiet kind of atmosphere that they've created. Is this the final... Yes, turn on main power. And we're good to go. We are good to go. We're powered up. To be honest, I was hoping to open one of those, but I think they are all locked. Well, no more problems with being able to see. However, this looks like it may be a problem. That gentleman has vacated his cage. Okay. Um, there must be another key. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Upstairs key and a tape recorder. I used a combination of antibiotic steroids and insulins to initiate the subject. He exhibited an intense reaction to the drugs. Rapid muscle growth was observed, but a hormone imbalance has developed, causing extreme uncontrollable rage. A substantial dose of clozapine seems to keep it under control. Nice. I like that. back upstairs now. That room was the one that we checked out before. Oh, what is this? A tape recorder? I've had to lock away D6. His anger is getting more intense with each observation. He managed to tear the door to his room. I had to get him behind bars with no padding. The damage he does to Bathroom. Get in the stalls, check out. No? Nothing. Okay. Wet floor. Not sure that the wet floor is a concern at this point, considering we have a behemoth. No need to go back. Surgery room. Surgery is upstairs. More bodies. More bodies. The jail rejected my request for another inmate, citing morality as the reason. The mayor has taken the same stance. They told me the only people that are currently holding haven't had a trial. That I might as well just snatch someone from the streets. So you're doing experiments on inmates, and they told you to just go ahead and grab someone off the streets? Doctor's office. So this is his office, the guy that's been in the recordings. The medical science. Right. Another tape recorder. Uh, I can't get that one. Okay. It says open front doors. I figured there was going to be another. Oh, I can't pick it up, I guess. Okay. Thought maybe 
that was going to be another part to the story. Yeah, he, uh, he got out. Alright, I'm running. I'm running. Oh. <laughs> okay. Guys, we didn't make it out. Um, we found the evidence we needed. We found the recordings of the doctor and his experiments. And uh, that was the evidence we needed to report back with. But um, sadly, I think the evidence stayed on the hospital grounds because I don't think that uh, behemoth of a thing with the giant arms and... Yeah, he, he's not a handsome, not a handsome fellow. Uh, I think he smashed our brains in, probably. Anyway, that was fun. Uh, the Doctor, Chapter 1. Uh, I, I hope there's a Chapter 2 coming up. Um, you know, Halloween is right around the corner, and a game like this is, is super fun to just, you know, have on a, on a cold October evening, and you just, you know, hunker down and, and uh, play some of these, so... Yeah, that was good. That was fun. Um, you know, a couple of minor critiques, but but nothing major. It was it was a nice atmosphere. I liked how quiet the game was, and the sound effects were effective because the rest of the game was kind of quiet. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, if you did, you know, uh, hit the like button. You know, it's a little thumbs up icon. You click that and. Uh, and uh, makes me smile. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you guys for the next one.